Who's ever felt drained after a setback or a rejection? Who's ever had it before? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Who's ever felt frustrated or irritated because you just can't get stuff done? By any chance have you had? Yes. And who's had all these things but you're just too tired and stressed to put your hands up right now? <laughs> How bodies work kind of like this. We go from on to off, from on to off, on to off, etc. But because now we are more accessible, we now go from on to on to on and so forth. And we wonder why about two o'clock we're just feeling a bit naked to be more effective and to handle setbacks, to think about what is your dollar productive activity? Where could you put your energy to have more of a dollar productive output? I thought Michael's presentation was fantastic. A lot of some really good information in there. Um, I found the stuff about bouncing back was, was really good. Trying to identify what it is that makes you not bounce back. Hi, I'm Michael Lysenblatt, Australia's resilience expert. One of the biggest challenges that people in sales and business face is dealing with those rejections and setbacks. Now these pressures often stop people from being proactive in their sales process. It takes away their confidence and it slows down their workflow. Now even if they've got the knowledge up here, if they can't overcome those feelings of rejection, self-doubt and overload that's in here, it's gonna be a really tough road to get the results out there. Now the real key, the missing piece to success in today's business world is developing that bounce back ability. And that's what I do. So I teach people how to bounce back from setbacks and rejections by becoming resilient to pressure so they stay positive, focused and achieve more. Because when you have a setback, often we think about, oh, what did I do wrong? What, what, what mistake did I make? Quite often, it's not about you. When a setback comes your way, you've got a couple of choices. You can fight it or you can flow with it. See, for me, martial arts has been part of my life for the last 25 years. And it's taught me one thing, that everything in life is about force and resistance. Everyone just do this. Take your right thumb for a moment. Touch your nose and go, oh. That's the Bruce Lee approach. I was exceptionally happy that we got Michael to speak to us today. Um, his, his was very entertaining um, and gave some very sound messages to our, to our group. Great. I think the best thing about Michael is he's just got all the experience, all the theory, all the practice, but he's just so present there with everybody in the room. Often in life, it's not too dissimilar that there are punches that we actually take. Setbacks, rejections, another good punch. Bang. Client says no. Another big punch. Oh, no. Can't get the listing for you. Bang! Ah, can't rent that price. No way. Big listing. Global financial crisis. Another big punch. Ah, oh, kids are sick. All these different punches. And the thing is, we can take them. You know, we can take them to a point. Thank you. Keep bouncing. Back. He's bouncing with energy, his energy was contagious. He touched me on a couple of things about the, how busy our lives are, always in touch with your mobiles. And I like the idea about letting it go and toughening up. What I love about my work is that I help make other people's work more enjoyable. You see, when you remove all the stress and tension from dealing with rejections and setbacks, people just naturally achieve more. So when you're planning your next conference or professional training day, you want to make sure the program both inspires them and educates them. My Bounce Back program has a fresh message that is high energy, it's hands-on and practical, and it's a lot of fun. Until then, keep bouncing back.